What's up guys? Welcome back to Crypto Weekly Review, home of the Wolfpack. What is going on with Wonderland Time? I have all the deets on that. We got Fidelity Spot ETF and a Hex race car. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into these charts. <laughs> it be all sus. Yeah. I just doubled up on crypto. I just doubled down on the new vest. Now my chair looking like two checks. Type of money made me want a two-step. Who next? This week I be on the moon next. Stop going up like two X. That's a fast flip like suplex. Too real estate like a duplex. You bet never lose change, but I do flex. Bitcoin on the daily chart looking like it's having a little bit of a limp deck bounce. Remember, we are saying we're due for a bounce, and right here on this pivot at about 32,000 to 33,000, we got the bounce at about 32.9. And look at this. It's like I have a crystal ball, guys. We were saying if we can get above 38.5, we'll start to perk up, but it rejected right there. It poked through. Now it's printing a bearish candle, even though there is some bullish news in the market where Vladimir Putin of Russia, which let's face it, he is pretty much like the supreme leader. He says that he backs the crypto tax and mining bill. Crypto is not going to be banned in Russia. This is super bullish, but the market doesn't care. The market is watching the NASDAQ, and the NASDAQ is looking like dog shit and it is respecting the 366 exponential moving average. Remember, that is our last chance before all hell breaks loose. Could it bounce? Yes, it could. But what are the probabilities? Remember the FOMC meeting, the Fed came out and said that they are going to continue tapering asset purchases and conclude in March where it will be raising the Fed's fund rate. We've had 0% interest rates and the Fed has been buying bonds, which it's going to stop doing. This is going to put downward pressure on the markets and that includes the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency markets. I think the probabilities are down, but this thing could reverse out of nowhere at any time. Let's take a look at Hex. Hex doing the same exact thing. It's holding the 366 exponential moving average, but there is some cool news. The Hex community has raised $600,000 to put a Hex vinyl wrap on a NASCAR Daytona 500 race, and I think it might get accepted. It is up to the team right now. It's just a rumor, but it would be a really cool shill. And as long as the car don't crash or like finish or last or something, but that would be hilarious. Imagine the memes if the Hex car hit the wall, but it would get more exposure. So yeah, I mean, that's a cool shill. The Hex community is putting their money where their mouth is. And uh, Hex is a cool project that is probably going to go up in the long term. Ethereum following along in the market, but a little bit weaker than Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance is going up. As you can see, we have a nice bounce on Bitcoin dominance, and that usually is what happens during a really bad downturn. People leave their high risk, low liquidity shit coins, and they go into something healthier and more stable like BTC, which is going to dip less. But yeah, ETH is just looking like everything else. Let's talk about Phantom. Phantom rejecting the 21 exponential moving average. It's still above the 200 on the daily chart. It is a lot more bullish than a lot of things. There's a lot of money and things coming into Phantom, but there is some major, major FUD considering the VE33, the Daniel Sestigale, and the Andrew Kranya coin. On this channel, we were really bullish about Daniele Sestigali and Andre Kranya coming to the Phantom ecosystem, and they were going to absolutely pump and blow it up with this project called VE33, where the NFT airdrops have already come through. But there is some skeletons in the closet with Daniele. His previous project, Wonderland Time, dropped 90% as $550 million of TVL went missing. And the guy who's in charge of the treasury is this guy, Michael Patron, who is a convicted felon. He was charged and served 18 months for identity theft. They had 1.5 million identities. This guy was also a co-founder of Quadriga CX, which was a Canadian exchange where his partner disappeared with $169 million and ended up dead. Supposedly, he died mysteriously in India and his body was cremated. But for all we know, he's in South America, somewhere underneath a pile of hookers and blow. We have really no idea. But this guy, this guy, Michael Patron, who's had plastic surgery and name changes because of his multiple felonies, was in charge, was in charge of the treasury of Wonderland. And the craziest thing is Daniele knew about it. He says in his personal opinion, he tries to avoid judging people for what they've done in the past. He believed that Michael Patron has turned a new leaf and now all this crazy drama. And for right now, Time Wonderland and Abracadabra merger has been put on pause, which is kind of funny if they do merge with Abracadabra because poof, 
Abracadabra, your money is gone. There seems to be a lot of that type of magic going on in DeFi, but you can lose fortunes or you can gain fortunes overnight. That's why we do this. Now, Grayscale is considering 25 more crypto assets for investment products. Grayscale is the world's largest asset manager, is considering 25 more crypto assets for investment products. Let's take a look at what they have. We do have Phantom on here. As you know, we are super bullish on Phantom. In here, we have some walking zombies. We got Algorand, Iota. We also have Terra, Spell, Secret, Polkadot, Polygon, Ren. There's a lot of good ones. And if they do, if they buy these on spot, it is going to put a lot of upward pressure on some of these small low liquidity coins they could absolutely explode let's hope they add as many as they can off of this list including kava we might have to do a video on kava soon global crypto owners predicted to surpass 1 billion this year <laughs> i'm not sure about that if we go into bear i think we're gonna lose a bunch of them but it's the global crypto population increased by 178 percent in 2021 rising from 106 million in january to 295 million in december the analysis shows okay yeah so we're talking about another 3x to get into the billions but we're talking about big numbers though we're talking about big numbers and as the curve goes up it's harder to get if we are not in a bull market and new all-time highs, I just don't buy it. But I would love if one-seventh of the global population was into crypto and eventually maybe even 100%. There is a lot of room to grow. But in 2022, I'm a little bit doubtful right now. Let's look at the charts. Give me, give me some bullish price action. Let's regain the daily uptrend and I would change my mind. The SEC rejects the application for FidelityWise Origin Bitcoin Trust Spot ETF. Basically, Gary Gensler is against anything that will create demand for physical Bitcoin. They will only allow derivatives-based ETFs, basically only paper trading, because if they do allow a spot ETF, Fidelity will have to back up their trades with physical Bitcoin creating buy pressure, but also all these other funds that are trying to get spot ETFs will likely have to get approved, making a cascading effect, and they do not want to pump Bitcoin any higher they will do anything they can to suppress it all right guys let's take a look at the nasdaq right here on the four hour chart it did close up 2.8 points but bitcoin is looking bad here we go on the four hour chart looks like we have rejected the 21 exponential moving average right here on the one hour chart you can see we did take out this low it just wicked through it but i think that we have some further downside to go can it turn around? Yes. Remember, there are no certainties. There are only probabilities, and the probabilities are down, especially if we took out this low. The markets look weak. Um, I'm expecting us to, to do a retracement here. I'm expecting us to come back down here to the 34,000 area. Remember, we're super highly correlated to the NASDAQ right now, so if that can rebound tomorrow, I think uh, Bitcoin will follow. Anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Join the Wolf Pack, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.